it like it imagine just like a flat buff across the board with that character. Oh damn, it's pretty sweet. I've I've played her a little bit. In the first game, I couldn't really do anything. It was weird, and then I was like, oh, you know what, I'll just play Falcon. And then, he, again, it didn't really yep. do anything, but at least Falcon moves around more. And since, uh, since CC is extremely good in this game, it also adds to, like, Peach's game. Because she's, she's kind of heavy. You can just I mean, hold don't, down. Don't, don't say it to her face. Yeah, oh, hey, whoa. Hey, now. Puff grab and ledge. Right, get the Bombo Blast. Yep. I feel like Soth, uh, Soth's character is at a pretty good advantage for uh, some of these um, matchups because it's purely based on the range of Ivysaur. Watch that back air uh, effectively edge guard both of those characters. That was really good. That was really Ivysaur smart. is a, a serious, like, always at combo weight uh, and fall speed, though. So yeah, the, that's a thing you have to take care of. These are the floaties are actually gonna like come out ahead if they keep trading like this. It's just that Spicy won't go in. So even if they take one Ivy Star stock, but Ivy takes two floaty stocks, the team's gonna have a huge lead. So I think I think what they're doing is like a good team strategy. But if if Spicy just wants to hang back and Ivy Star just trades back airs, we'll definitely kill them both at the same time. Ooh, is he dead? No, I don't understand this character. That tether grab is insane. I think I'm playing cream on the, the, the speakers, you know, on Wu-Tang. What's that? Cash rules everything around me. Oh, yeah. Aw, oh, shit. So it feels like I'd be sort of this combo each for free. Um... Not for yeah, free, but like... The, uh, a huge component of DI'ing out of combos in this game is being able to smash DI and dual skip smash DI. Uh, because some uh, some characters, like... It's really hard to balance an entire cast of 43 or like 40-something unique characters. So some combos are like, how, do I, how the hell do I get out of this? Yeah. It's uh, Sometimes it's about bridging the gap in neutral and, oh, I, I messed up neutral, now I'm getting punished. Let's see if I can survive out of it. Right. It just comes down to defense. That fair into up smash, that was cool. So, can you tell me how the uh, Ivysaur flower battle works? Oh, yeah. Um, so, uh, the, the light and like, the bulb on yeah. Ivysaur will eventually start glowing more and more as you build up a charge. If you use your bulb attacks, which are like up air, down air, um, up smash, yeah, the ones that have that kind of like weird puffy. Flower yeah, explosion. Like, yeah, like the smoke. Um, if that hits with a sweet spot, it'll start charging that uh, that meter. Um, oh yeah, it looks like uh, Soth was off stage. Uh, like either wasn't in range, or you can only tether twice uh, to the ledge without uh, being back on the stage. You can tether once, and they can hit you, and then you can tether again, and then you just won't, won't yes. grab the third time. You won't grab the oh, third that's, time. That's actually kind of exploitable. Yeah, and uh, if you're holding ledge when an opponent tethers, um, they uh, and they draw up towards the ledge instead of just hanging there. Uh, if you're on the ledge, then uh, the opponent will tether up and is forced into like a special uh, sort of like smash four jump sure. uh, off the ledge. So you can punish that if you have a solid back here. The sheep definitely does. This is super this is a close. Barely even game. This is super close. Double this is just game one. Right? Double floaties is like always a weird. It's called Petch, like P E C H, not P E C K. Oh. Uh, uh, that's a little weird to me. Double floaties is definitely like always a 50-50 uh, in teams, in my opinion, um, because they either both she get hosed. Just uh, Ivy just there. That's a big play. Uh, when, when. Close to kill. This buff's not going for rests, uh, like, ever. Uh, granted, now it's last stock, you kind of can't, right? Um, but rest is, uh, not as strong in this game, but still, like, it'll kill you. Yeah. I'd say, instead of killing you at, like, zero, uh, if you land a rest at around, like, 20 or 30, or, like, about 25, you're going to kill you. That was really solid. But it's zero. I don't know what seed, um, uh, so the spicy are, but... Trill and Soul Patch. Soth is incredible. Soth and spicy. Uh, yeah, they won that first one. Um, I don't know what seed they are, but this is super even. Soth is a very, very uh, prominent DM player. Um, he's beaten Marshall before. I think he. I don't uh, know. He won. He, he, he won uh, Kings of the North four. Yeah, that was correct. Aw that was actually a really yeah. cool. Because he beat Professor Pro. Yeah, that was one of the first tournaments, if not the first tournament I ever went to. And I didn't know shit about PM. I still don't, but I really didn't. In, the, in the annals of PM history, one of the 
most fun sets to ever watch, in my opinion, was the snake ditto between Professor Pro and Rolex yeah. in Skate Tower 3. It was an insane money match. Like, that was a money what? match? Oh, yeah. It oh, was like yeah. 100 or like maybe $1,000 or some shit like that. It was a huge amount of cash. But uh, besides like the initial bet bonus, they were talking smack for like six or so months on Smash Boards before Damn. Professor Pro came over. How, and how? people had like thousands of dollars bet on this match. Was it, so it was, it was even, it wasn't like a it dead... Was, oh, it was very, you know, it was close for a while, but Pro got a download after a while and really just started, like, feeding it to Rolex. Sure. Um, that's got the... There's, there's this one Giphy Cat combo that Pro has on PS2 uh, that's just based off of, like, he crouches underneath the side B from Rolex and then Dacus is out of a crouch into a fucking, like, zero to death kill. It's unbelievable. Um, I think it's like 20 minutes in on the YouTube uh, mod. Is that it's the, still on there. I don't know if you is, is Rolex is Rolex still an active snake player? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't um, know. I, I haven't have... really heard from him in a long time. Seen anything from him in a long time? Meanwhile, Red Team is putting the boots on. Fucking oh, yeah, game that's two. True. Game two. There's four puff stocks. Soul Patch uh, still tanking those stocks. Yeah. Still living. Soul Patch is the. That's some solid damage coming out from uh, Troy. Is Trill the uh, Peach player? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Trill AF. <laughs> Trill AF. As the kids say. As the kids say. We esports. We're, we're fucking esports. Razor Leaf is a pretty good uh, projectile. Uh, it kind of leads into like guarantees. Sort of like Wolf's uh, sure. laser. It's very slow. It controls a lot of space. Yeah, it's slow. I, I don't know the properties of it. I think you can like. You can definitely like overwrite it with other moves. Oh man. Uh, Maybe Mark can do that. Oh my oh. gosh. Yeah, see what I mean by like that. Small That's a really, jump on really action. precarious position for Ivy. Wow, this puff is just like murder boating. Is that a thing? Probably not. Let's uh, let's actually observe. Uh, oh shit, he got a rest. Soul patch. Let's see how he does his space. With uh, like he's very clever with, with puff. Uh, his, yeah. I think he might have learned a lot from game one. They, uh, they honestly could have closed it out. I think he's figuring out how to edge guard more effectively. Oh, he might be able to rest so out of, uh, he, out of a ledge. He, he, that, that's a really risky move. He definitely... Uh, he favors back and keeps pushing that advantage. Yeah. So and and almost wall uh, Oh, one more, uh, I think, reverse nair or uh, back air obviously would have killed. See, Soth's uh, immense range of the vine whip attacks immediately, like, that's what comes to mind for me on have, um, him having an advantage over those two characters. Sure. You can I mean, just kind of wall him out like Martin. Puff has disjoint based on uh, back air, but the amount of disjoint that Ivysaur has as a character is immense. Wow. So spicy at 167. Pretty much living on borrowed time. Yeah, we'll take that. Going to game three. Uh, Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. They would. I don't know what happened between game one and two where they went from relatively even to up three stocks, but... Wouldn't work. Stuff's going good over here. Come here, Andrew. Okay. I'm not. You know, I'm not. 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 i you might not, uh, you can't really, wait, oh yeah, you might be able to see it on camera. When he turns around, uh, that guy over there has a beer belt full of, like, PBR that he's walking around with. Tales of Jank is a strange turn. <laughs> I think this is a really strong counterpick for Blue Team. Um, I get why the floaties wouldn't ban it, 100%, but Ooh. I think this is a really, really strong counterpick for Blue Team. All they really have to do is play a gigantic version of Whack a Snake. Or whatever you said earlier. Oh yeah. Because there's no platforms. There's nowhere else they can mix up their landing. They're either going for stage or they're going for ledge. And with Ivysaur Vine Whip, I'm pretty sure at a certain point, uh, maybe not 57 for fun, but uh, a little bit higher for. That killed him like 50. Yeah. Yeah. The, Off the, the top. Smash not a lot. Of he could, not a lot that Soul Patch could have done really. I mean, other than. <laughs> What's going on? It's a goofy game already. Um, I totally get why the Floaties didn't ban this, but it's it seems like it's definitely in the team's favor. 100%.
But cause, just because it's in their favor doesn't really mean anything. Nice rest. Wow, that was a solid. Wow, he actually so I, right after I think that, that happened twice. So Trill actually was able to wake Jimmy Puff up while back airing the sheet, which is just like bonus points. It looked extra cool. Wow, this is this is one aggro Jimmy Puff. It's pretty uh, interesting to see like the a distinct PM puff style. Right. Um, I don't know how many uh, players there are for a puff, but I, I know Soul Patch is like regarded as the best one. The best Joey Puff player PM? Uh, yeah, I think so. Where's, where's Soul Patch from? Um, you know? No, no. Oh my God, he's got three rests. He's got three rests just in this game, and they've all killed four. That one, that one's not gonna kill though. But four. He just every set on the He immediately just invincible rested off the top platform. Um, still even stocks though. It's just that the Jigglypuff player is putting in so much work. Uh, you don't want to be off stage in your peach right there. Or pretty much ever. Yeah, shield grab. Yep. I bet this confirms into floaties. I, I would be oh yeah, forward air and uh, neutral beam would probably confirm. So Pinch just got to hold it down. Actually, Bates, is that a, was that a team kill or was that peach the last second? Oh my gosh. Now that's so, at, uh, at low percent. So is going to save it to where he can get a confirmed kill out of Oh combo. my god. Oh, so that was back. I think that was forward air. And then he DI'd hard to the to the right. And then so, uh, Soul Patch just read the, out the cuts. Already drifted back after the initial forward air. I don't know if he's just been downloading him or if that was a super duper read. Yeah, these two have seriously good Back air. Wow. Back, that might have been another rest. Back throw into. I, think he, I don't think he's going to rest, but maybe he would. Because they're up a whole clean stock, you'd probably get more value out of it if you just do guaranteed That's stuff. It. Wow. Wow. Solid. Fantastic game. stuff from the red team. No, really, how's it going? Uh, not bad. Just beat With the spirits. If they're at 116, if you get a grab, you don't have to do anything because I'm Falcon or Like, it's a team. So it's high socks, so funny to me. He's got like two socks. Oh yeah, you know. He looks like he's playing. 